Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this rainy Monday, I have for you video number two uh, for my ICM Battleship Mark Graph, SMS Mark Graph, and a scale of 1350. The weight loss and scap of flow. Okay, I started this thing probably about a year ago. I have a Battleship Doubles going on. I just realized I had this thing up there, out of sight, out of mind. I just now found it. It's up above here. I brought it down. I worked on it about, oh, about, I got about nine hours in it yesterday. I'm, I'm almost down, down the downhill stretch get this thing finished. I've got a few more things to do on it. It won't take long to get this thing finished. And, um. The kit contains that doesn't have any photo etched parts. This ICM kit, it's very. Uh, the instructions are very confusing. You gotta really pay attention to the instructions very well, and see where everything goes, and everything fits. And uh, the fit of parts of this kit is uh, it's not too bad, but there's, there are some fit issues here and there. And you gotta make sure everything is cleared and cleaned out real well before you uh, glue anything down. Right now, I got to do uh, the the remainder of the build. I got to finish up. The, I got what one? I got two more bake uh, uh, two more boat cables. I got to build, and I got to install uh, two, four, six, eight, uh, ten, twelve boats, and I got a couple other parts too on it, like davits, and also the accommodation ladders give you two. That also has got to be constructed. And that means all the parts of the kit is completely finished. All that's left is just the wrecking. Well, I'm going to use fuse wire instead of using sprue. I went down there to um, a a uh, Ace Hardware. And uh, I got me a big old roll of armature wire, which is like fuse wire. Real, really, it's, it's fuse wire. And uh, that makes very good uh, rigging material. Okay, um, the Mark Graf was used in the Battle of Jutland and the New Armistice Day when the war came to an end. Uh, all the German fleet had to muster out as I scap a flow. And uh, they didn't want to turn their battleships over to the English. Believe me, they didn't. So they had scuttling charges in these things. And they scuttled all their ships. So if you should drain Scapel Flow, you'll have a whole junkyard full of World War I battleships laying down there. She lays about 140 feet of water. Completely turned turtle. And that's about the way she sunk. I guess when she sunk, she just kind of rolled over and blub, blub, blub. And uh, her outer hull is deteriorating away because she's over 100 years old. And... Uh, a lot of parts of the ship is recognizable, a lot of it isn't. A lot of it's, you can see the debris of it, which is, which Russell's got a hold of it, and it, and it turned it into virtually nothing but iron oxide dust in the bottom of the ocean. In general view, I would not recommend this kit to the novice, like that of the Dreadnought by Trumpeter. Too many small fiddly parts. A lot of small parts that makes the build. And uh, so, you got to have skilled hands to do all this stuff. Um, novice probably wouldn't have the patience to do so because it's so confusing. And eventually, he or she would abandon the build or just go ahead and build around it. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to take this camera and swim down and take a look at this. I'm sure I'll explain to you what i got to be doing on this thing. I don't know how the last video made on this thing was about a year ago. I don't know how the, I don't know how much the progress was, but there's a lot of progress was being was being done on this. I got the two boat damage right here I installed. And I got two more on the starboard side. And I got one cradle and another cradle right here that's gonna be done on the on the starboard side. Then I get just a matter of assembling these boats and, and do some detail painting in them and install the same on top of here. And uh, you got a few davits, and the combination ladder fits over here. You got a, a, a couple davits here for your 
a combination line wage where they bring it up and they can trice it up to the uh, the free board at the top of the deck and they got a dab it there and pull the same thing also on starboard and once that's all done once the boat's on it's just ready to red guys it's just and also lastly i'm going to do i'm going to put a, te a torpedo net it's all been furled reef the furls all the way from the top of here to the edge of the free board of the deck across here then you're going to have your spetter bars come across here how are you going to make those uh, torpedo nets, Frankie? Very simple. All you got to do is use a piece of wire. Electrical wire. Plastic coated. It can be black, red, white, green. It don't matter. I'd say probably about two millimeters. About three millimeters. Round wire. And just paint it. And affix it to the side of the hull. And add your spinner bars to it. And you got yourself a torpedo net. Or you can roll it with paper. That's very tedious because you got to span probably, oh, well, I say about at least 13 to 14 inches. You got so it's a lot of a lot of rolling. And it's got to be uniform. And it's got to be nice and neat. It's got to be almost uniform, like the stick of this pointy finger here. I think you guys get the picture. So I'm gonna do that last. I should have this thing done once a day. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I should have the final reveal for this. Wednesday, this thing will be finished. I'll get it out of the way. Then I'm going to hop on back on the Dreadnought and get back going and get a video posted for that. Then when the Phoenix comes in for Big Mo, I'm going to go ahead and start going back on the bill of Big Mo and start posting more videos when it's finished. Any leftover railings for the photo witch will probably fill the bill of this. I could use them. Okay. What else is there in mind that you got to do? Yeah, I got to paint tops of these funnels here, too. I'm going to airbrush on top of there. I lost the instruction sheets to this thing. They're in this trailer somewhere. Believe me, they're in here somewhere. So what I did, I got a line, uploaded the instructions, and uh, so I just turn it on my PC right there and just review the PC and just go ahead and build like I, as if I didn't lose them. And also last thing I'll add a little more more weathering on it, a little more rust on there. It'll give it give a little more wash up here in this area. And uh, she ought to be pretty well wrapped up. Well here are the sprues here, what I got to do once these sprues are all used up, that's all i got to do with this thing. It's done. And uh, the boat's been pre-painted already. The painted, painted light, sea, uh, light sea gray. Same color this is, dark sea gray. And uh, I just got to paint the boats up. Install them on the cradles. Right here, on this screw here, these are your spinner bars for your torpedo nets. Very, very fragile. You gotta be very careful when you cut these out with a number 11 blade. I suggest using a fresh number 11 blade for all this. Because this plastic is very fiddly, very small parts. Don't take much to bust these things. Right now it's raining outside. A change of pace compared to this weekend. This weekend was in the 80s. I said, man, it looks like it's summertime already. <clears throat> I was right back to the same old material rain, April showers, and which was supposed to be doing anyway in the first place. This this uh, weekend is supposed to get down to the 70s, so it's be very pleasant for outdoor activities, like going out to Trader's World somewhere. Uh, you can go out there and enjoy yourself outside activities. A lot of festivities going on. So I got Big Mo over here, as you can see. She's so I haven't painted those turrets yet, but I will get to them though. It's kind of fiddly. 
so you really gotta you really gotta watch out. Dex received a lot of cut, few cuts of wash here and there. You can really see the planks from here. It's too bad this camera won't pick them up. It's not very high definition. It's like a pretty good wooden deck to me. I like these old German World War One red, red dreadnoughts. They got a lot of good styles. You can see how it was in how these things were influenced with HMS Dreadnought next to it. How Battleship Design came to view. And they just added their own designs. Just like the English did, everybody else did. Using that kind of Battleship format the hull. I like the whole lines of this thing. This is a Koenig, Koenig class uh, battleship. So like I said, I gotta make those boat cables on here. It's still the same. These turrets, they turn and everything. I'll make them come off too. So this is very nice build. I really enjoy building this thing. So I should have had the final reveal for this probably by this uh, Wednesday. Because really guys, there ain't much to do on this thing. It just won't take long to get the rigging done. I figure I got about six hours in the rigging. That's steady six hours right there. Maybe a little longer. I'll say about eight hours on the rigging. I got a whole bunch of roll. Uh, I got my drill, my pen vise over here. Of course, right here, as you can see here in the foreground and uh, background. And I got a whole bunch of small drills, too. I got. Uh, I went and bought me a bunch of drills at the hobby shop. These things are expensive, too. Real small. I mean, small. So I'm going to use these with a pen vise to drill out my holes, rigging holes. And these are not glued down. They'll pop off. I did that for this purpose. So anybody wants to get an ICM uh, SMS Mark Graph, go do so. It's a good model. It builds up very nice. It's a good, it's a good battleship. It makes a very good collection. Very historical. And they got live footage of this thing too on the YouTube. You can, you can also watch, and also a lot of the guys, a lot of people, they dove down on the ship a lot too. The divers did. It's funny how light affects the uh, the appearance of these things. Light is a very important thing to use, especially photographing and everything. Because it fixed everything differently. I just got a Bill's Rats channel. He has a, he looks like he's building the HMS, HMS Nelson or something in front of him. It just looks, he's got the Orkin guns going. He's got a wonderful channel, so everybody go see old, uh, see old Bill's Rat. He has a, a nice channel, and he's been a good shipmate of mine for a long time. He builds good models. A very fine gentleman he is. That's about it on the Mark Graph, guys. I'm going to start turning to work on this thing. I've done nothing yet on the Long Beach, so I'll probably be working on that in about a day or so. I'll probably be working a little bit on the, uh, the cruiser in Baltimore. My Trumper 1700 scale, very small. That'll be it for this. That'll be it for me.
me the camera yours truly. Thanks for the video, fellas. Okay. That's about all I got to show you for the day for Monday. So by Wednesday, I should have this thing all wrapped up. Wednesday evening, I should have the final reveal for this. And i got to get some good news, too. I've got to mention right now. We could probably get me a camcorder probably next week. By, by this week, I'm going to get me a camcorder. And uh, so I'm going to have some good videos for a change. So you use webcam here. This webcam's okay, guys, but it don't have the high, fit, the high finesse of, of picking up details. Like a while ago, you could, you can't, I can see the planks from here. Just look at them. You can see them. Because the camera won't pick them up. The same thing, a big bow right there. When I put the wash on that, of course, the panel, the the, uh, the decking there is very, very uh, subtle compared to the uh, ICM. ICM, they got. I like the planking on there because they it, it got deeper ridges. That way, they can they can absorb the the wash and still give you the representation of, of your of your deck work. Of course, this Missouri was is a forty something year old kit, so. A lot has happened with the 40 years. Trust me. Okay. This is it for the SMS Mark Graph ICM 1350 scale. This is it for Frankie Day. And we'll catch you for the final reveal. So stay posted for that. That'll be two days away. And uh, make Mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused. We drive, spend wisely. And be aware of your surroundings. And it's going to be nice and warm. we got a lot of outdoor festivities you, we, you guys got going. Barbecues and regattas. And uh, even your radio control boys out there who uh, build radio control like me. Can take your, which I'm going to do. i got my boats all right now. i got my three right now running out of mothballs. So i get them all cleaned out. i got fresh batteries. I'm ready to take them to the pond. So I'll be having videos of that coming up probably very shortly. So stay posted for those. Okay, I'm out of here. So stay, this is the conclusion of video two. So video three will be the final reveal. It'll be coming up this uh, Wednesday. So stay, please stay posted for that. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Models signing off. And you guys take care of yourselves and God bless you all.